Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Solana not really giving us any surprises and we're still moving in the previously defined range, which I talked about in yesterday's video and also on um, yeah in previous signals updates. And uh, yeah, so let's talk about let's talk about the the structure here on the one hour chart. Maybe I'll zoom out a little bit. Um, not much happened here in recent weeks. So you can see that the, um, the Solana chart obviously reacted here on the 1st of May and started a bit of a rally to the upside. That rally, as hopefully everybody can see, is at the moment only in three waves. So in the yellow count, this is uh, considered an A, B, C structure of wave Y of B and a B wave could have topped here. I explained that in previous videos, it's not preferred that we have formed the B wave top because what would that mean for everybody who's not so much involved uh, in you know the elite wave thing and everything? You know, if it's a B wave top, it basically means that we should see a lower low, oops, a lower low below the A wave low that was formed um, here on the 13th of April at $119. But that is not at the moment preferred. Why not? Because First of all, it would be within a WXY structure and a WXY structure. So B waves can form these complex corrections that are called WXY patterns, but these are not the most frequent patterns that a B wave forms. So B waves are more common ABC patterns. Therefore, if there is a WXY, I acknowledge it, I track it, but it's typically not the preferred count until the context tells me that I should make this the, the primary count, yeah? Or like a, a support level would break in this case. What I find more probable at the moment, because it adheres to more Elliott Wave, let's say guidelines and principles, it's the yellow count. Uh, sorry, not the yellow one, the orange count. In the orange count, we are also in a B wave. So the let's say the assumption is the same. This is a corrective rally, but actually the B wave has a chance to go higher. So what I'm doing is because we have this series of higher highs, higher lows, I'm simply giving the local trend the benefit of the doubt and I track further upside until support breaks. And if support breaks, I know which count it likely is and it would be the yellow count. So therefore, yellow is um, more bearish, should send us down lower towards 119, maybe $109, maybe even a bit lower. But I will not follow that primarily until we get a break of at least $147. So that means we are still holding above support, which means the orange count, which is an ABC structure and should send us in the next step to $205. I, you know, that is sort of, that has sort of primary status. Um, but at the same time in the orange scenario, while we are holding above support, there is currently no indication that a low has formed within this current pullback, which started here on the 20th of May at around 189 USD. And that pullback is considered an A, B, C structure and we're likely now in the C wave. I also posted an update about X earlier today on um, X. What did I say? I posted an update earlier today on X um, <laughs> about Solana. Uh, um, so if you're interested in regular updates, you know, also check out our X page um, or channel we have a lot of different updates, kind of stuff about mindset, all sorts of stuff here, questions, polls. So feel free to check it out. You'll find the link in the description. And I highlighted already earlier today that range here about X, uh, about Solana on X. So this was the count we had earlier today. And I pointed out that um, no indication that the pullback is over. If another low forms, which is currently expected. The next level is to watch 150 and 147 USD. I'm definitely open to the idea that the B wave here could have bottomed already, but it takes a break above the Sunday high, which is this spike, this wick, which couldn't really break resistance. Uh, so it takes a break above the Sunday high to indicate that this is the case. And the wave C of three here in orange should reach $205 plus. So if you wanna get more updates like these, um, we have way more in the gold membership, but generally updates sort of stuff. Check out um, our X channel. You'll find the link in the description or X profile, I should say. But yeah, what you can see is that this sort of green candle we've seen earlier today, it topped in three waves or the wave topped in three waves. And it's possible that this fifth wave to the downside has now started. The market could not break above resistance and 
it is possible that this fifth wave to the downside towards 150 or 147 dollars is now underway however it takes a break below the last swing low to increase downside momentum that's at 157 dollars 60 and there's another swing low at 156 dollars 60 and then the third wave low needs to break eventually at 153 dollars 70 that's of course micro counting but it tells you a lot about the levels for short term or even intraday traders what we essentially need to see to believe that a low is in and again that's possible i mean i can i can put that here with a question mark b wave maybe it bottomed already there is absolutely no evidence for it i mean that rally was clearly also in three waves so with three waves we cannot recognize a new trend it always takes five so minimally i need a break then above resistance or something to at least sort of believe that a low could be in and yeah that's the sunday high which formed at um, basically 166 dollars and then a break above the green line would be an even better indication that a low has formed already and that is at 172 dollars 60 and then as soon as a low is in um again i can't confirm it at this stage then the c wave to the upside should send us to around about 205 dollars plus then we get another wave four five at least that is the pattern i'm watching for just note that at the moment that uh, there is currently no low in place here might just need one more low to to finish this off and then we could start the next wave to the upside this pullback has already now been ongoing for a couple of weeks maybe more than that actually no couple yeah more than that so at some point it should be over the move down is also looking corrective so it's not looking impulsive at least not at the moment so yeah all the levels should be clear i hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership also make sure that you follow us on instagram and twitter for additional content thanks a lot for watching bye bye